Hey guys, welcome back to Camping Corner. I'm one of your hosts, Tony McMillan and Mallory. Absolutely, we're here, uh, gonna have a great time. The first segment that we're gonna talk about for week three, we're now gonna do this show weekly. Uh, lots of, uh, of excitement, and lots of comments, and everybody seems to really love the show. So the first thing we're going to talk about in segment one this week is what's the buzz or, you know, what's going on around the web. So we got some pictures sent in, which is great. Thank you guys for sending in those pictures. Keep sending them. Any ideas, pictures, anything that you have is great. So this week we have pictures from a family that's been camping in a lot of warm places. So North Carolina, Florida, and Georgia really jealous of that because the weather's been pretty gloomy and gross this past week really in indiana so keep sending those in we love seeing pictures of the warm weather completely jealous of what you guys get to camp in right now yeah the good thing is mallory we're only 50 days away from spring so we'll be camping you know here um in not too long i know before we know it yeah absolutely so in all my years of being in the rv industry i've seen some silly things but take a look at this Oh my gosh, I can't believe, if I would have seen it at a gas station, I would have had to stop and take it, take a picture of it myself, but you know, that, there's some cockamamie stuff out there, guys, and this might be the king right there. Yeah, or the next one with the motorhome <laughs> attached to the back of a car, that seems a little crazy and unsafe maybe, but hey, people have fun, I guess, with their inventions they come up with to tow things. People do what they do. You know, I I saw a um, I saw a little piece the other day uh, that said 54% of people camp with their pets. Yeah. 54%. Did you happen to see this cute little critter? The hedgehog. He, the hedgehog. He's got his own tent. <laughs> I know. He's got his own table. The little grill. I know. You know, and it's just for a photo op. But the reality is I, that's super cute. I mean, you just you can't you can't beat that. You know, the picture of him having dinner with the little hat, all that <laughs> stuff. You know, guys, these are the things that we love seeing. Make sure you send those cool things in to us. Um, you know, it's a lot of fun. You know, we all catch a lot of fun, uh, a lot of smiles out of the, that stuff. All right, so next up, we did a quick poll with our Facebook um, family. So what is your favorite camp destination preference, state, national parks, or local campgrounds? Ooh, that's a good one. I know there have been a lot of people that have been chiming in on it and keep chiming in on that stuff, mm -hmm. guys. Um, and if you've got an idea about this, you know, make sure you comment in the comments below. We want to hear what you've got to say about it. You know, one of the struggles that I always had when, when you know, travel camping was not all of your state parks have full hookups. Mm -hmm. And that was something that I always felt like I wanted to have, mm -hmm. um, you know, compared to what you get at a traditional campground. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what's, what's your preference? Personally, I would say state or national parks, just because me and my husband have set a goal to visit all national parks together. Um, we even bought a book that marks all the national parks and when you've been and you can put pictures and experiences so that's me personally just because we want to go see all those national parks you know the most visited national park in the country mm -hmm. is Yellowstone National Park 270,000 RV visitors a year that's crazy I mean that's that that is pretty phenomenal, guys. And if you've never been out there, it's absolutely something you know beautiful. If you've been there, send us some of those cool pics. You yeah. know that that you know that's something that that everybody I think every RVer would like to be um, in that that location at some point. So, oh yeah, definitely. Super cool. Also, guys, we got a great set of pictures uh, that a, that a person sent in to us, Leah uh, and her husband Eric, who sent in some great pictures. And uh, I know Mallory's taking a really good hard look at all these things, so. Yeah, so thank you, Leah, for those pictures. It's a 2013 Shadow Cruiser that they um, renovated, and it's really neat. I actually may need to hire you, Leah, to do mine, because it's beautiful. I love all the, like we talked about, the light, bright interiors. Definitely looks like it made it a lot bigger in there for you. Um, allows more looks like there's more space so beautiful job love those pictures absolutely and our in-house renovation project we're going to have some updates for you coming soon on that so that'll be something for everybody to check out as well but thanks again leah and anybody else if you're doing a renovation project send us the the information you might just get mentioned here 
Our next segment, guys, and I'm, I misspoke. I said it was around the web or what's the buzz, but the reality is the first part was around the web. Now we're going to talk about what's the buzz. Mallory, what's the buzz? The buzz is the Spring Fever sales event starting January 27th through February 8th. So I know you guys have seen the fun little video of Megan and Tony over here dancing, advertising that spring sales event or the spring fever event. So come check us out. It's going to be a lot of fun. I got the moves. <laughs> you do. You did pretty good. Like Jagger. <laughs> hey, another thing that's uh, super cool for us guys, there are 7,000 RV dealerships in the United States. And for the sixth year in a row, Walnut Ridge Family RV Sales just got the top 50 award. That's right. Yeah. That's incredible with 7,000 dealerships. Top 50 award. I know, crazy. That's that's pretty incredible. Yeah. You know, absolutely. Super proud of that, guys. Uh, great pictures on our website. Uh, you can see the picture here along with the show. Mm -hmm. um, and check out the guy in the crushed velvet jacket in the center. Uh, he might, in fact, be our producer of the show. <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> hey, in industry news... see John John's video on the new hideout I love when John does a video we're gonna bring him on one day yeah just yeah. for fun somebody happened to point out a fact wanted to know if that was a landing pad like I've got any room to talk being a bald guy but you know <laughs> in the video somebody put a little thing and wanted to know if that was a landing pad for a helicopter but you know the new hideout super cool yes absolutely lighter um, seems like the industry is going lighter and brighter mm -hmm. with a lot of stuff everybody's lightening up their coaches and trying to make them brighter and stuff like that so yeah I love it all right guys so the next segment we've got is tech monkey so this week Tony's gonna talk to you about this really cool wireless brake controller absolutely and guys Getting information, even as long as I've been in the industry, getting information from consumers is super important. I had never heard of this thing. I had never seen it. I had a customer the other day that was talking about it. Lo and behold, we had it in our parts store. This is the Kurt Echo wireless brake controller. It plugs in where your standard seven pin does, and then your trailer plugs into the back. And like so many things today, talking about tech stuff, there's an app for it. You okay. actually control the gain and control for your brake control on your phone, which means nothing mounted down underneath the dashboard, nothing to hit your knees on, no additional wiring, anything like that. Mm -hmm. And it's got a really cool safety feature in that if your phone would ever die, mm -hmm. it connects with Bluetooth. So if your phone ever died, it, go, it retains the last uh, setting that it had so you can still tow your trailer safely if you uh, lost your phone um, do what I did last year canoeing and yeah. you know drowned it out my phone but you know still gives you the capability that you can get out of there so super cool and it gives you the capability that you could move it from vehicle to vehicle to vehicle and pull multiple trailers with multiple vehicles all of you know super simple very affordable easily accessible so check that out guys it's really neat. All right, guys. So before we go for this episode, we kind of wanted to share some cool statistics and things because we've talked about a few of these topics in maybe the first couple episodes. Like one, for instance, we talked about um, the different generations camping. So you've got your baby boomers and your millennials. So actually millenn millennials make up 38% of campers. So even though they only make up 31% of the general population. So that's Awesome to see that this industry is just going to keep growing. Yeah, absolutely. You also have the fact that 90% of our uh, RV owning households report that they take their unit on a trip at least three times a year mm -hmm. in addition to their regular planned vacations. Yeah. So it's not that it interferes with, you know, the trip to Disney World or anything else. Mm -hmm. It's just in addition to. Yeah. So definitely some neat statistics of things that we've already um, kind of talked about. Also, we kind of talked about the hedgehog and taking your, your pets camping with yep. you. About 54% of um, RV owners take their pets. I definitely know I'm that one of that 54%. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, I, and I know that. And I'm waiting on a new dog. Can't wait for him to get here. Uh, super excited. Um, things just aren't working out. Um, the other thought, thing that I thought was pretty interesting, there are 9 million 
registered RV owners in the United States. That's a lot of people and a lot of registered RVs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So the United States makes up the largest uh, proportion of RV owners uh, in the world. Um, they say 40 million people in the, in the United States go RVing, not just that own RVs, but some camp you know, by tent, some camp in their cars, some camp in their vans, but 40 million people are out smelling the fresh air and chasing butterflies around. Right. Absolutely. So now that we know that there's 40 million people out there camping, there's 40 million people that can send us pictures and ideas and different things. I know you guys have got them, so yeah. go ahead and send those in. Yeah, absolutely. And by all means, guys, we talked about in last week's episode, we're trying to get a segment together for Ask an Expert. So if you've got a question that you want answered by an expert that's not Mallory or myself, maybe it's a service technician or maybe someone from our detail department about uh, specifics on how to get, you know, maybe a stain out of carpet or furniture, upholstery, um, anything like that, or some things that you should do for maintenance and upkeep. Yeah. You know, make sure you send us a, that stuff in the comments and we'll be glad to get those things answered. And guess what? It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. Yeah. So, so we look forward to all that. And we will see you next time, guys. See you guys. Bye-bye.